Hey folks, uh, <clears throat> the show is uh, You Never Know, and I'm David Olney, and uh, it's beautiful, turning into a beautiful day. It started out kind of ugly, but it's nice now. Uh, what's happened? Uh, just played the WMOT Roots Radio, finally Friday lunchtime broadcast, and the sidetrack sessions at Kimbrough's Pick and Parlor in Franklin along with Grant Lee Phillips, and that was uh, put on by uh, Rodney Matoya and uh, Earl Mulligan, so thank you. Uh, coming up this Saturday, October 14th, at the Kentucky Homefront Series in Louisville with Alan Rohde and Rafe Van Hoy, and that's uh, connected with the WFPK radio up there. All right, November 9th, 10th, 11th, and 12th. We've got shows in Florida and Florida. In November, in Apalachicola, uh, Sarasota, Palm Harbor, and St. Augustine. I dreamed I saw St. Augustine, alive as you and me. Uh, look for some big dates, or even some medium-sized dates in St. Louis and Arkansas the first weekend of December. And you can check all this stuff out on David Only, uh, yeah, davidonly.com. Uh, got a runny nose, so bear with me. Ah. Ah. What a relief. Okay, <clears throat> let me do a song here. This is... Uh, an old one <clears throat> goes back to uh, Deeper Well. It's on that CD. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Forever, until 
still forever comes and goes. I know where I always find you in my heart. And from now on, until forever, until forever comes and goes, I know where I will always find you in my heart. my heart or something I wrote that and it was uh, kind of trying to write something that sounded like the Carter family what else and, and I got it you know I was someplace like a, taking a sub subway or something <clears throat> somewhere I you look at a map and it's got this little thing on it says you are here and uh, I thought that's kind of cool and uh, so and I wanted to just like see the earth turning and I think you know since we've been going into space and getting these pictures back we have this firmer idea of what what it looks like for the planet to turn and sunrise and sunset and those things are really spectacular pictures and I think I had that in my mind <clears throat> and I just wanted to describe that and that was pretty limited you know, I wasn't shooting for the, I don't know, within, I wasn't trying to do this great thing. I just wanted to get this little thing, this description of the, the world turning. I wanted to get that. And it came out pretty good. Um, so, what you know, what I was thinking about, <clears throat> on the first Saturday of every month, they do this thing at the library here they read a Shakespeare play and and I enjoy going down there and being a part of that so the play that they read this Saturday this past Saturday was uh, Timon of Athens and this is like nobody's ever heard of this play and it's like one of those it's awful it's like mm -mm. there's a reason that nobody's ever heard it or no one's ever seen it done because mm -mm. Swing and a mess, Will. Uh, and then I got to thinking, but even, you know, William Shakespeare writing a play that isn't so hot, uh, it's like must have been like seeing uh, Babe Ruth strike out. You know, it's, it was still, it still got this magnificence to it. So I got to thinking about that. <clears throat> when you say you're a fan of something, or of someone, I mean, you know, it's it's like a level of involvement with whatever it is they do. But it's not, you can get past just being a fan. And when you do, then you can, you sort of see where there's weaknesses and things that aren't quite right. But it's like at a deeper level. It doesn't mean you, you because I can recognize or I have the opinion that some of William Shakespeare's plays aren't so hot doesn't mean I don't um, love Shakespeare. And I'm one of the things I like that. And I went, well, you know, friendships and marriages, you know, that there's the initial rush of love. And then, you know, after a while, you, you recognize the weakness in other, the other, your partner's, uh, you know, makeup, and they see your weaknesses. And, uh, 
but it doesn't mean that there's any less affection. It kind of means that there's more. It means that you've gone to a deeper level. So I don't know if that even makes sense. But anyway, that's what I got. So I'll see you next week. I don't know.